Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about the basics of compiler. We'll get, you will get a basic understanding about the responsibility of compiler. But in our next classes, this subject completely deals with the in-depth understanding of the sub, uh, concept of compiler. So, but the example which we are going to discuss here, this helps you a lot in understanding the next classes. Please watch the video till the end. It's very, very important to understand the example. Coming to today's class, before going into the concept of compiler, let's try to refresh the concepts of computer architecture. Whatever the process we have studied in our computer architecture subject, we will refresh those concepts so that these concepts will help you a lot in understanding the concepts of compiler design. So this is the compiler, uh, this is the architecture, this is the processor that we have discussed in our computer architecture subject. So what this processor says is we are having a register called data register and we are having an accum register called accumulator. If you want to do addition, first suppose if you take an example 2 plus 5 if you want to do that, place 2 in data register place 5 in accumulator if you give the instruction add instruction machine level instruction add instruction this data register and accumulator whatever it's there in these two registers it is going to alu it is going to do the operation plus why why it is doing the operation plus because we have given the instruction add and the output 5 plus 2 is 7 is going to save in accumulator this is the processor we have discussed in computer architecture and we are having some random access memory assume 0 1 2 these are the address of the random access memory we will discuss some instructions these are also helpful for you store 250 what's this instruction will do whatever it's there in accumulator take that value 7 is there in accumulator take that value and place it in 250 memory location in random access memory that is what this instruction do store hash 20 250 what's the meaning of this instruction the value the binary value of 20 should be placed in 250 memory location like that the instruction load 500 what's the meaning of that whatever there in 500 location get it into accumulator that is what this instruction do and next add means whatever there in data register accumulator these two go into alu and for this we have designed a processor for a, a processor for this processor in computer architecture subject so these basics this if you get an intuition about this understand uh, this computer architecture that is enough no need uh, in depth of understanding when I am explaining this, if you get an intuition, that is enough because we don't need much about the computer architecture. So this is how the processor works and we have discussed about opcode also. For store instruction, assume that the opcode is 0000. For load instruction, assume that 0001. Means whenever we write this instruction, this is a machine level instruction. Means it will be in 1s and zeros. 250 will be in 1s and zeros. Store will be 0000. Opcode part, address part. Our instruction divided into two parts. Opcode part, address part. For understanding purpose, we are writing it here in store 250 like this. Assume that this is a machine level instruction this is what happened in computer architecture now coming to our subject so take a high level language let's assume that we have written code in c language int a is equal to 2 comma b is equal to 5 comma c c is equal to a plus b so we our goal is to convert this high level language into machine level language means into these instructions because computer understands only these instructions in order to convert this high level language into machine level language this instructions only compiler is not enough compiler assembler loader like the different programs are needed in order to convert this high level language to machine level language but in this subject we are going to deal with the but the highest responsibility is taken by compiler that's why we are going to discuss the concepts about compiler how it will do how the conversions happens 
But remaining things we will understand about what's the responsibility of assembler, what's the responsibility of loader. But we go, go we don't go deep into the how it is doing, how this loader is doing. That we are not going to discuss in this subject. We are going to discuss only about compiler. But in order to convert this high level language to machine level, all these are needed. Remaining are also there. We have not mentioned here because these are frequently used terms. That's why we have mentioned only these three. So let's understand step by step uh, what happens in the conversion of this high level language to machine level language. Uh, we will give a basic intuition, not this is step by step, uh, but this example, remember this example. This is very important. Based on this example, we are going to explain the remaining uh, topics in our compiler design. So int a is equal to 2 whenever the compiler starts reading this code. a one variable is there means some memory has to be allocated to this variable that's why it is going to maintain a table in this table a it will assign some memory space 510 assume that it is given 510 memory location this is our random access memory and this random access memory each line is of two bytes int is of two bytes that's why one line is enough to store the integer value and our instructions are also taking only 16 bits 16 bit instruction so one line is enough to store this is the assumption this is our processor based on the processor this changes our processor is a, our assumption is our processor is capable of storing only 16 bit uh, addresses ad, uh, register, uh, instruction values okay so a is assigned with 510 memory space yes 510 b is assigned with 511 means whenever you want to save b we have to save it in 511 location c is given space of 512 so what happens now c so whenever a is equal to 2 until now you understand that uh, there is some space available space is assigned to our variables a b c but uh, the instructions are not at uh, designed uh, how the instructions will what instructions that were that are going to give in order to execute this code that's try, uh, let's try to understand a is equal to 2 store hash 2 comma 510 what's the meaning of this instruction place 2 in memory location 510 the binary value of 2 is uh, written here because it is 16 bits 8 bits 8 bits binary value of 2 has been written like this after executing this instruction uh, in the memory location 510 binary value 2 has been placed after executing the second instruction store hash 5 comma 511 means in 511 memory location place the value 5 after executing this instruction 5 value will be placed here load 5 dr comma 510 what's the meaning of this whatever there in 510 location get that value into our data register yes what's the value there in the 510 location value 2 is there in 510 location 2 is placed in data register load accumulator comma 511 whatever there in 511 location what's the value is there 5 is there that's placed in a accumulator after that which instruction has been written add instruction has been written means this data register accumulator whatever the values are there in data register and accumulator 2 plus 5 that going to be added and the output is placed in our accumulator so now accumulator consists 7 store accumulator into 512 means whatever there what's there in accumulator 7 7 has to be placed in 512 location see this is what we call it as instruction set for this program this is what we call it as a place to save our data in order to execute a program instruction set is required and data part is also required this is the responsibility of compiler assembler and loader to convert this high level language into machine level instructions how this is, these are going to be converted will be discussed in our coming classes but uh, remembering this example will help you a lot in understanding the coming next classes in our next class we are going to discuss about a relocatable code we are going to use this example so uh, please if you if you don't understand it uh, watch it again and again multiple times uh, till you understand then only it's very easy to understand the remaining classes hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you